Welcome back. Today, we start looking into note linking in Apple Note. We will talk about how to create simple links between your notes, as well as the most common reasons why you might want to start using note links in your own notebook. Let's get the basic mechanics out of the way first. In Apple Note, I can start typing an at symbol, and this will open up the note linking menu. This menu loads up all of the notes I've ever created and lets me pick the one I want to insert a link to. So let's do just that and insert a link to this note. Now, when I click the text of this link, I get a nice preview of the contents of the linked note. And when I click on the note icon or press control space, I can visit the actual note. A pretty nice side effect of creating a link in this way is that in the destination note, I can see a list of all of the references to this note. And by the way, you will notice that Ample Note uses the word link to refer to the act of mentioning another note. So in this context, I have a note link. But when I'm looking at all of the incoming links to a particular note, we use the words note reference or backlink. So this is a list of references or backlinks. They mean the same thing. One of the most common reasons why I use note linking all the time is better navigation. Instead of searching or filtering for the notes I need, I can create handy links to those notes. So for example, you might find that if you have a list of projects and every project is a note, you might want to create a list of links. Instead of using the at linking shortcut, this time let's create these links by drag and drop. Now I can apply formatting, reorder my projects, and always have handy links to the project pages themselves. Another way that note links can be useful is as part of task descriptions. For example, if I have a recurring task to do a 10 minute stretch before bed, within the task itself, I can link to my note containing the list of stretching exercises. To do that, I can select some text and press at on my keyboard. This will create a new note titled after my text selection and link to it in one go. Now the task itself is twice as useful. It's a reminder to do my evening stretching, but it also holds all of the information I need to do the actual stretching. And of course, sometimes I have a task whose goal is the creation of an actual note. This is another case where I like adding note links in tasks. So in my list, I have my right tailored cover letter task. I can use the note linking shortcut again to create my empty internship cover letter. So now whenever I return to this task, I will also have quick access to the cover letter itself. Being able to link to a note from a task is a really powerful second brain feature. It's much more laborious to do the same thing when your to-do list and your notes are split between different apps. Another one of my favorite use cases for note linking is for extracting content to separate notes. So for example, let's say I'm taking some notes in my daily jot. Suddenly, it occurs to me that part of my note is actually a checklist that I can reuse in the future. I can select my tasks and choose Extract to a note. Give my note a title and press Enter. Now I have my separate checklist note, which I can reuse every time I need to prepare for a workshop, which is nice. But I also have this link to my new note in the daily jot. I like this extra side effect because it helps me keep a record of when and where new ideas and projects take shape. 
Think of it like a note to your future self that helps you understand how an idea branched off from another note. So, today we looked at the most straightforward note linking applications in AmpleNote. You can use the at note linking shortcut to create a note link anywhere you are inside a note. It's also possible to select text and convert it into a note link by pressing at on your keyboard. Also, you can select any text and extract it to a new or existing note, leaving a note link behind.